So we have our user form set up with an OK and a cancel button. Cancel button quite happily works and cancels the form. The OK button just tells us that we clicked OK and then cancels the form. What we're now placing on here is a set of options that allow people to choose what case to make the selected text. Now, if we want to give people multiple choices, you can't go far wrong than the radio buttons here, option buttons as they're referred to in Excel. And before you can use some option buttons, you really ought to use a frame. So that holds all the option buttons together and makes them related to each other. So if you choose one, it turns the other off. So we go to our frame option and drag out the frame onto our form. Now the frame has frame one as its name, call mine FR case, and we can change the caption to select required case. You can see that the caption then appears on the form. And then we need to place within our frame as many options as we think we require. So we take the option button and we'll have one option. And again, two options. And three options. Now, our three options are actually upper, lower, and title case. So let's go into the properties. We'll call that opt upper. And change its caption to uppercase. Option two, opt lower. And let's change its caption to lowercase. And then option three, we'll go opt title. And its caption is title case. They probably, well, more than probably, they really need aligning. See how they're all slightly offset from each other. So let's multiple select them, which you can do with the standard shift and click. Right click any one of them and choose align lefts. And you can see they're then all aligned to the left hand side. Could make all the boxes the same size as well if you wanted. Not that anybody will see the boxes, but let's make the same size and make them all the same width. There we are. Let's see what that looks like. We go to run form and return. And that's what we'll get uppercase, lowercase, title case with our OK and cancel. If you want one of the option buttons to take the default, because at the moment none of them are selected, then we can do that in the properties. In the moment, if you'll see, they are radio buttons, they are linked to each other. So choosing one deselects the other two. So if we click cancel and go back into our code, what we want to do is set the value of one of these to be the default. So let's take title case and in its properties, we can set the value to true. And you'll find that if we then run that, that's the one that takes the dot to start with. So it's already pre-selected. And that's done by selecting the one you want selecting. Come down to the value. Make sure you've got the right object selected. Come down to the value and set that to true. There is another clever little property actually for the options which is the accelerator. So if I select title case, for example, you can see accelerator here. What the accelerator is, is the letter that is underlined and therefore activated by the Alt key. So at the moment, if I run the form, you'll see that none of the letters are underlined, and therefore none of them you can activate by using your Alt keys on the keyboard. However, if we select title case and set its accelerator to C, Actually, probably better off T. And then the lowercase will set to L. And the uppercase will set to U. And when we run our form, you'll see each of the first letters in this case are now underlined. So you can move to the one you want selecting by using the Alt key on the keyboard and that particular underlined letter. So Alt L is lower, Alt U is upper, and Alt T is title case. Okay, and cancel takes us back into the VBA user form. So here we've seen the addition of a frame and the frame takes options within it. The number of options we have within that frame is unlimited. The way that a frame works is like a radio button, hence it's sort of nickname really, in that you select one of the objects 
the other ones are deselected. So you can have only one of those items on at one time. The next stage is to add some code behind the OK button that figures out which of these you've chosen and then makes the change in the Excel file.